Here's track announcer Roger Houston. Caesars jackpot, candy superstar on the outside. The gate swings around the turn, and there they go. Often pacing fast out of the gate, the one town road down along the rail, the two LDs trish. Passed on the outside, the seven candy superstar, three wide. Into the rail, the three to make what account gets away. Fourth, racing fifth, cheery hello, sixth at the rail, Ms. Magic. Trailing the field, Caesar's jackpot as they race around the turn. Going to the first quarter mark, Town Pro and Duck Brown take the field of the quarter. The fastest ever for Mayor Pacers and the Breeders' Crown, 27 and 2 fifths. He entered the lane, passing it into the first time. Town Pro leads the way. LD's Trish racing second, Candy Superstar third. Out and moving on the outside. Delinquent account with a tough first over. Racing up on the outside. Cheery Hello now fifth with cover. Ms. Magic at the rail, sixth to the outside. Caesars Jackpot can see them all. Past the half. 56 seconds. Racing to the backside and the 5 8 mark. It's Town Pro showing the way by a length of three quarters. LD's Trash is second. Candy Superstar third. Delinquent account fourth on the outside. Cherry Hello fifth. Caesar Jackpot sixth. Trailing the field. Miss Magic. But they're not making up any ground on the leader. Town Pro at the three quarters. Here comes LD's Trash. Three quarters. 124 fastest three quarters in the history of the Breeders' Crown pace. Around the final turn, LD's Trish on the outside. Town Pro gives way at the rail. Delinquent account closing on the outside. Down the stretch they come. LD's Trish, delinquent account closing on the outside. It's delinquent account on the outside. Giddy up! 154 and 2. Second to the wire, LD's Trace, closing for third, Caesars Jackpot. So delinquent account gets up. It is a track record at Ladbroke at the medals, 154 and two. Delinquent account second in the Breeders' Crown last year, losing to Town Pro. And tonight, she turns things around. Brilliant on a 5 8 mile track, and she showed it once again tonight. You know, delinquent account is just four lanes shy of an undefeated season. Bruce, an amazing effort here by Delinquent Account. She remains the queen of the hill here, pulling first over and still having enough left in the stretch to get up over Eldie's Trish, who just happened to come away with the perfect pocket trip. Looked like she might be a winner for a while. As I mentioned in the post parade, she was not up to this fearsome foursome, and she just missed, but Delinquent Account certainly proved herself tonight. Trained by Bob McIntosh, owned by George Siegel and Brian Moynison. This on the road again, Bay Mare. Out of the Brett Hanover mare, Al Dente comes home in the Breeders' Crown mare pace and sets a track record in the process. We'll be back. So the Magic Man, Bill O'Donnell, with his first Breeders' Crown victory in three years, his 10th overall, and the Hall of Famer doing a sweet job with delinquent account in the winner's circle, making the presentation. John Long, Vice President of Ladbrook Racing Management. John Swiatek, Vice President and GM, Ladbrook at the Meadows. Paul Silverglide and Max Harris, also the Ladbrook Racing Corporation. Here are the prices. Delinquent account was bet down to 8 to 5, returned $5, 320 and 280. LD's Trish was second, 11, 20, and 340. Caesars Jackpot finished third, three dollars and forty cents. Once again, track record time, 54 and two. Here's John Pablo. All right, with Bill O'Donnell, Bill, just a magnificent effort. You really made two moves. You came out a little early, but put her back in a hole. Well, I come out and uh, you know started to go, and they were just going so much, I really couldn't advance much. So I just give her a little rest again, up the backside, and. Then, uh, and, you know, she get up, then I work my way up, and Mark come out of the two-hole there, which uh, worked out really good for me. Got her back on the bit, and she started pacing strong again to head to stretch, and, uh, you know, then she just got by that other mare, which is, uh, I mean, a gallant effort for her. All right, we're going to pick up the replay. As you're going down the back stretch, second and final time, you finally decide to make the move. What told you to come out then? Did you see the front end weakening a bit? Uh, no, not really. I just, you know, I was working my way up, and, and I just wanted to get her up in contention because, you know, she's not a giver up her, and I thought if I could get up Handytown Pro, I didn't know if I could beat her, but I just thought if I could get up there, I'd finish with her anyway. 
LD's Trish is a very fast mare, and with a trip like that, she was tough to beat. No question. I mean, she's been a great mare since she was a two-year-old, and so is mine, a town pro. I mean, this is as good a bunch of mares you'll ever see race, I think, together. And your winner is the best mare anywhere right now? Well, tonight she was. <laughs> so she's been for a couple of three weeks, but... Yeah, she deserves the honors, at, you know, for the end of the year, I think. Very good. It's been three years since Bill O'Donnell's been in the winner's circle. It's good to see you back, Bill. For a breeder's crown, John. For a breeder's crown, I should say, exactly. You know, sometimes, Bruce Beck, it's not how fast you go or how much you make. It's the quality of horses you beat. Delinquent account beat the best field of mares tonight. Back to you, Bruce. So delinquent account bred by the a la carte racing stable, Pico Rivera, California. That's the stable name of restaurateur and harness racing enthusiast Willard Smith. LD's Trish was second, was second last year, and there's the rest of the official results.